down. It is a joy. It is a different feeling, guys, to pull one of these nice reds in standing in the water right next to them. You know what I mean? Look at that. How you like that, guy? Right off that rock. Got him again. Yep, got him again. He was waiting on me. He was waiting for me. Yeah, baby. Yeah, I got one that just busted right. Ah, that's what I'm talking about, baby. Top water, that's that pot. He's pot licking. Oh, I just saw something come up. That's Jack. Oh, oh, where you going, Jack? Where you going, Jack? Come back, come back to see me, Jack. Can you see that? Oh man, I can barely hold this big. <laughs> oh, look at it. Look at you. Oh. What's up everybody? Uh, Charles Cleburne with Dirty Bay Fishing. Um, I'm here to talk about betterboat.com. And you say, what is betterboat.com? In, uh, in the description of this video, I'm gonna leave you a link to them. Hit that link, and uh, that link's connected to me, so it'll, uh, it'll, sh it'll show them that you went through here to get it. But anyway, uh, click that link and uh, check out all the products that you're gonna see me in these videos they're, they're going to be in there and a whole lot more um aaron sent me an email and uh said pick some products check them out see if you like them and uh, that is what i'm doing i saw their website and i was impressed by their products all right guys while y'all are here like and subscribe check out all my social media it'll be under charles cleburne fishing or dirty bay fishing um all right man uh, hope to see all you guys on the water tight lines and god bless What's up everybody? All right, in this video, I'm gonna go over the anchor rope here. Um, I need a new anchor rope, and you'll see why in a minute when I get to it, and I'll show you what how bad my anchor rope looks like. So I was really happy when they reached out for me and I saw this on their website, because I had been thinking about getting this, and I was kind of leery, because it looks small. It's only 3 eighths of an inch. It's 100 feet of rope. Um, it says it is strong, double braided, abrasion resistant, marine grade nylon, reflective strip woven into the making, rope is visible to other boaters. And it also has this uh, stainless steel little end, end piece right here. So I was kind of worried, uh, small line, uh, big boat, I don't have a giant boat, uh, I'm guessing two, three, four or five thousand pounds maybe I have no idea it's pretty heavy on the trailer um, but this line has a working load of 820 pounds and what that means is if you're gonna use this rope to hoist something up uh, you know like through pulleys or uh, a come along or something like that you don't want to exceed 820 pounds uh, you know all the extra movement and stuff that type of weight pulling and swinging will add extra weight like that so uh, if you're gonna use it for something like that, don't, don't buy it past that. But if you're gonna use it for an anchor or a dock line, this thing has a braking load of 4,035 pounds. So that's pretty impressive. And um, I like that reflective, that's gonna show at night. But um, that's pretty impressive. Uh, and, and it's getting me not worried about trying this rope and worrying about losing my anchor. So. Um, Another thing that really, this thing says it's uh, salt, sun, and water resistant, so we'll put that to the test. It says money back guarantee after 30 days. Try it for 30 days. If you don't like it, they give you a 30 day money back guarantee. Not a lot of people do that, and that is worth trying something like this. So uh, this line right here is what I'm gonna trade my line out with. And if you continue to watch my videos, you're gonna see me use this 
week after week, uh, month after month, and into the years, and we're really going to see what this line does. All right, guys. All right, there's my anchor. Let's get it out of there. Have to disconnect it from there. Yeah, wait till you see. that I've been using. Look at that. Yep. I'm sure if this works. Uh All right, I'm going to start unspooling the line, attach it to the uh, anchor, and then roll it into my storage compartment. So. All right, I'm going to attach the shackle on the chain into the splice here. And make sure to tighten it down tight. <laughs> All right, I'm going to set the anchor down there, unspool the line, and then run the end back through my spot. All I did is give me a PVC pole. Stuck it through there. Good to go. All right, I'm gonna load it into its compartment here. Gotta make sure when you're spooling it around to not twist it up too bad. You'll get your line twisted up and it won't come out easy and it'll just be a mess. So as I'm going around, I'm usually twisting the line with the turn. See how twisted like that? You want to twist that out of there. So that line looks good, man. I pulled that line. Look at that. See, that's that reflective in there. So at night, uh, something that'll shine if you're fishing at night. I mean, it's already shining right here. Uh, but the woven, it looks like a good material. Um, went in good. Taking up not a lot of space for 100 feet, guys. And uh, that's all I need for my boat. All right, guys. Betterboat.com anchor rope. All right, first impressions was I needed an anchor rope. Uh, pretty bad, y'all saw my rope. Uh, and I was kind of worried. I've been seeing lines like these about this size in Academy, uh, a little bit more expensive than this, and I've been debating on getting it. But the size kind of uh, uh, tripped me out. But pulling this one out, um, the weight capacities that it has, I have no fear that it's gonna hold up. And subscribe and uh, hit that bell for alerts because um, this is the boat this is the stuff this will be the anchor rope that I use in all my videos when I'm in my boat so you'll be able to see it and how it holds up next week you'll be able to see up how it's the next week you'll be able to see how it holds up next month and if it's as good as I think it is you'll be able to see how it's holding up next year and possibly more don't forget a 30-day cash back if you don't like their products. Um, I have a link in the descriptions that is assigned to Dirty Bay Fishing. It's just going to take you to the website, but when you order something from there, it's going to show them where it's coming from, and it's going to look good for us, and I appreciate that. If you just go straight to their uh, website without my link and order something in the comments, 
comment that you saw at uh, Charles Cleburne on Dirty Bay Fishing is where you got it from. All right, guys. Um, like I said, keep watching the videos. You're going to see this rope. But uh, I was impressed, and I have no problems going out to the jetties in 30 foot of water, anchoring next there, and I'm not going to be worried about getting knocked into them rocks. All right, guys. Uh, like and subscribe while you're here. Check out all my social media. It's Charles Cleburne Fishing or Dirty Bay Fishing. Uh, I hope this helps y'all. Uh, I hope this shows y'all a new company. These guys are a, it says young family brand. So that uh, kind of stuck out to me. And uh, they were very, very easy to work with. So uh, that stuck out to me too. I like people who are easy to work with. <laughs> all right guys, I hope to see all you on the water. Tie lines and God bless.